one, uh, the other thing that they talked about that was a scam, uh, that I, I, I would call it a myth, but I think you do need to be aware of it is, uh, this is from a dealership, is they call it the negative equity scam. This was something on Forbes, the negative equity scam. And basically what they're suggesting is, you, we, we've all heard the advertising, we pay off your car no matter how much you owe, right? Mm -hmm. Have you heard that before? Oh, yeah. So what does that mean to you? Yeah, that means if I owe $10,000, they're going to pay off my car. Right. <laughs> but but what, 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 that's led, what that leads you to believe is basically you, if, you, if you owe $10,000, we're going to give, give you $10,000 $10, for your right. car. Yeah. But what people don't realize is legally you, know, you cannot trade in somebody's car and, and satisfy their, their loan. So you, you're going to pay it off regardless. So, what, so when, when, when the advertisement says we're going to pay off your car no matter how much you owe, it should continue to go on and say, we're going to pay off your car no matter how much you owe, and you will roll in the difference in your new, your new note, yeah. is what it should say, because that's, that's what happens. And, and again, it's not, a, it's not necessarily a, 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 it's, it's a play on words. Most dealers have used it. You've only got so much time in, in an audio commercial, and, and, uh, and you know, unfortunately, some people have that perception, but when they get to the dealership, they find out, you know, well, I owe 17000 Why are you only giving me thirteen? Well. Yeah. You know, so again, I don't know that I'd call that a scam more so than I would, uh, you know, misleading advertising. But at the end of the day, just realize if you see an ad, uh, an advertisement says we're going to pay off your car no matter what you owe, that's a fact. The dealer will do that. There's no doubt about it. That's not misleading you. You will have your full uh, payoff satisfied, and you will be relieved of that car. However, you, you're not going to get exact. You may, but it's not a guarantee that you're going to get a uh, trade value of what you owe. Right. Right. And, and I think you know. Again, understandably, if you if you owed six on a ten thousand dollar car, you wouldn't want six. You know, you'd want right. ten thousand right. dollars. Right. Sure. So you know, you got to look at your situation. That's not you know. But if someone's in a negative equity situation, a lot of consumers realize, man, I owe ten. It's worth five. I'm in five grand in the in the, in the soup. You know, yeah. man, this is great. The dealer's going to pay the five grand that I'm in the hole. Well. Right. Uh, that's not the case. So that's something you got to look out for. And again, you just uh, uh, just find out what your payoff is. Go on uh, theautoschool.com or kbb.com or edmunds.com. Find out what what the value of your vehicle is, and um, we will, you'll be able to know exactly where you truly stand by knowing the positive or negative equity. You want to go into a break, and we'll have another one when we come back. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll talk about trade-ins. I want to tell you when we come back. I want to talk about um, basically the difference on, on those trades and how you can kind of get to the bottom of that without, you know, being misled as well. All right. Very good. If you'd like to join the conversation, 706.